steps that I follow in manifesting. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's a little chill out here, so I'm not going to be staying out too long doing too, too many videos. Um, I might do some from home. Um, but I wanted to kind of do this one real quick since I'm out here uh, manifesting. And so this is a process that I follow and it works for me. So, um, and just kind of go over some of the steps. I did do two videos already out there to share my experience. One manifesting a Bronco and then the other one with the job situation, you know. Um, so if you want more of a um, scenario uh, perspective, you know, jump on those and check those out. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, just let me know. Um, or again, I do a uh, coaching session so we can book something like that, you know, privately. Um, so first off, of course, you have to have the awareness that you want something, that is your first step, right? Um, change that I don't want this or I want something different. Uh, once that comes in, you set your intention. What do I want my intention? And yet you want to know what your intention is. Right, because if you don't know what you want, then how are you going to manifest something? You can't. It's not say um you need to be specific per se. You know, I, I want this, these details, everything else. Just let the universe bring it. Right, whatever it is. But what is important to you within that um, scenario? So, like the Bronco, I wanted it to be white. You know, I wanted it to be where I was comfortable in the seat sitting. Um, and I'm short, so when I drive, uh, if the dashboard's up here, I'm going to be like this. So I wanted to make sure I was comfortable. And, you know, things like that, that's going to be important for you in this vehicle. It's going to be something I can afford, you know. Um, it's going to be something that's uh, safe. It's going to be something that's reliable. You know, these are things that I just put out there. I didn't go, you know, oh, I want blue eyes, blue hair, <laughs> more of those kind of, it was kind of like those details, but it wasn't, it was just something that I added to the creation of it that I wanted. So you want to kind of be specific, you know, and then some of the things that don't really matter, don't matter. Um, the universe will know, right? But the things that you want, and it'll come and gather all those pieces on what's going to be, right, a good fit for you. So setting your tension. Now, once you set attention, if you know anything about thoughts, uh, beliefs, uh, and anything in, in the universe, it works on cycles. So when you see you're setting your intention, it's like of what you want. It's a seed that you're planting. So the seeds um, will blossom, right? And you'll have your manifestation. So there are cycles that go along with that. And cycles take time, depending on how much <clears throat> momentum and energy and vibration and emotions that you put with it it takes time to get started so say you think about oh yeah i want to do this and then three weeks from now you say yeah i want to do this you know it's you're planting this you're kind of building the momentum the more that you can focus on it <clears throat> with intention um and just pin something up so that way even if you're not really focusing on it it's still within your realm like if you I, what I did with the Bronco is I printed out a picture and I put it on the side to where I was sitting every day. So even though I wasn't really focusing on it, it was still in my forefront, right? That this is what I'm wanting and, and then just gave it to the universe. So having done that, I'm not really focusing on it, but it's kind of just putting it aside, you know what I mean? And letting it just evolve and manifest, right? Through the evolution of the cycles, right? And then every time the thought about the... Um, the Bronco came in, I was like, yeah, I want that. And I kept refirm, referring, refer, uh, refirming the uh, vehicle that I wanted, right? So I didn't know how, where, when, you know, or whatever. And at that time, it was during COVID when the lots were empty pretty much and they were having trouble getting cars in, um, which was another thing, um, you know, added to it while my other car was dying. So it was like I was under constraints, right, with this, but I didn't act under constraints. I acted in accordance to the will of the creation, the law of creation, right? And so allowing that to manifest um, on its own without really 
perpetu or perpetuating that to happen under stress or um, I don't have it, panic, you know. I print it out and just put it aside. Universe, that's what I want. I just want to make sure it's white. When I was looking for the vehicle, I, I had things that I wanted um, that I've always kind of wanted in a vehicle and just put it out there, found the vehicle and set it aside after I printed it out. That's my intention. That's what I gave to the universe to deliver. And that's what they delivered, right? I manifested that. So with the universe, of course, and source, right? So letting go was the printing it out, setting it aside, and just letting it go to the universe and giving it, right? Giving it up instead of working under constraints and stress, you know, that my other car was dying, was going to have a car and panicking, right? I kept myself busy out of that space so that way it would hurry up and manifest, right? Because when you're perpetuating it with stress, uh, anger, frustration, hurry up, hurry up, you're delaying it, right? And so it doesn't manifest as fastly. So, right, it's working with the law of attraction, right? So letting it go, the cycles and the planting of the seeds. Now, um, like I said, printing it out, setting aside was the letting go of it, giving it to the universe. Now, uh, once you set your intention, it's done. You have to just trust that it's done. When, when you set that aside, know that, and the, you're giving it to the universe to do it, just do it, right? It's like, say, I don't know, <laughs> this example is coming in. Okay, it's like if you're, um, you're married and you have your husband and he's like, here, can you do the laundry or can you iron this? He's going to hand it off to you and trust that you're going to do it and you're going to do it, right? Same way, universe. Uh, can you do this? And just the universe is going to give it to you. It's a different form because it's non-physical, but it's still going to happen. That's manifestations, right? So what is your intention? You want to think about your intention. So what is it that you're really wanting? Is it something that, you know, is just going to be temporarily that you're wanting that you don't really want? Is, is there like a tweak in it that you really want it? You want it, you don't want it or you're not sure, or, you know, those things aren't going to help your manifestation. You know, if you, when you know that you know that you want it, it's going to help your manifestations. If you're kind of like on the fence, it's, it's really not going to go anywhere. And when it does, it's really not going to be what you want. Or, you know, um, you're just going to have, it's not going to be the manifestation, right? We'll just put it that way. So it's your thoughts on what you want. What do you want? You, knowing what you want you is your tension, right? Again, if you don't know what you want, you know, it's hard for the universe to deliver that, right? So you want to kind of get specific, but not in detail. You want to get specific in what you want, but not so much in your detail, right? And so I want to define that. There's a difference. Um, now, how do thoughts become, right? Um, you think them, meaning a thought arises, and you think it versus letting it pass by. So there's the thoughts that you think that create it, which is the momentum, and then there's the thoughts that just pass by and then you don't think much of it and you just observe the thought and just let it go, right? So you have those two different thoughts, but a thought is a thought that becomes that you actually think. You're putting more momentum to it. And um, there's a thought that comes by and then if you don't grab onto it, it just kind of just passes by. That's the collective consciousness, right? Um, there's so many thoughts in the collective consciousness that we can all think the thoughts. That's how we have the telepathy and we're connecting with each other. Um, we're picking up on one thing that another person picks up that lives across the world. Uh, we know when people are going to call because we're connecting to that on an on, unconscious level, subconscious, um, or intuitive basis. And so we know they're going to call before they call, right? So you think them, meaning a thought arises. When a thought comes up and you decide to choose that thought out of all the other thoughts in the world that exist, um, you're creating it by choosing to think it, right? Um, if you don't choose to think it, it just kind of goes by, right? It's just like watching a movie just float by or a cloud, you know, just uh, in, in existence, it's going by, right? Versus letting it pass by. Thoughts are just thoughts until you think it, believe them, feel them or become them, I'm living my thoughts, right? And so as you're thinking your thought, you know, what stages are you in that thought? Are you um, at the point where you're now 
because they evolve. And so the emotion that comes after a while, thinking the thought a couple of times, you start getting emotionally involved with that thought. And, and that energy and vibration that you're putting into it is part of the creation, right? And so where are you bringing in the emotions and how are you seeing the thought and how are you relating to that or the vision that you're trying to create? Manifesting. So I'm living my thought which is the experience of the thought. Now it becomes, it's manifested. So you're now living your thought when it becomes, I'm living my thought, right? Now when the thought um, cycles back through again, um, after you've already planted your seeds, um, so when you have your thought, you're planting the seeds, right? And the cycle comes back around. So your next step would be, <clears throat> when the thought cycles back around, think it again, right? So you're just creating these cycles, these loops. This is uh, intentional manifesting. When the thought comes back around, because like I said, I, I put the paper over to the side and let it set, but every time the thought came back up, I would imagine myself driving it or how it would feel driving it or thinking the thought and thinking, yes, this is what I want, confirming it, right? So when the thought comes back around, it's almost like, for me, the universe is saying, okay, are you sure you want this, right? This is in creation, it's motion. And every time it comes back around the thought, it's reassuring me that it's in creation. The momentum is happening, right? And so you just reaffirm it, right? Yes. Or imagine yourself driving it or, you know, uh, however it is that you're going to reaffirm it, right? Um, now, how are you going to reaffirm them, right? From a place of knowing it's done in the works of creation, the universe is taking care of it, handling it, or from I don't know, because um, I don't have it, which is lack. So where are you? Are you gonna be in the space of um, stress, you know, under uh, restraints or time restraints, you know, like I was, or are you going to uh, be from a place that just trusting the universe and that God's got your back or source got your back, right? The universe got your back. Um, so in manifesting, it takes time to incubate and um, create the cooperative components you need. So I'm going to give you to this, uh, you know, um, put this out there. You know, your baby didn't happen overnight, <laughs> right? So it was the coming together way before even the thought of your baby was born, right? Because what did you have to do in order to get there? You had to find a mate. So... It was a creation before the creation of the creation of the baby. So the thought thinks the thought that creates the thought that thinks the thought and it manifests um, and it leads, right? So when did you start thinking about having babies, right? Because when you had those thoughts, you had to have a way to have them, right? And so by um, design, uh, you know, generally you have to find a partner, whether that be, you know, where you're, you're actually with a person creating or artificial or however you're going to have that word option, right? So there's a process in that, right? It's before it even becomes something to become something to become something. So you have the pre-thoughts of the manifestation and then you have the manifestation of that. Then you have the incubation period <laughs> and then you have the delivery, right? And that's how it works. So I just want to give you that example. Um, I don't know if that helps. Just look at it that way, right? Um, so a manifest, it takes time to incubate, increase the cooperative components. Your baby didn't get here overnight. There's things that went through the process in order to create it, right? But when you're now thinking of having a baby, it was created prior to that because there was a universal consciousness that wanted to be born into form before you even thought the thought. So it was created even by then, by source before coming in so that soul can take the body, right? So there's this process of evolution going on here, right? And so when we're manifesting, it goes through that. You can apply it to any situation, anything, a house, uh, um, your mates, a baby, a car, you know. Um, and then every time it just comes back around affirming it, right? Um, then you let it go again and keep reaffirming it until it comes back around and you start seeing things manifest in the physical form because now you're at another level. And so with that being said, like when I was manifesting the Bronco, I started, I went to the park and I had seen a parking lot full of white cars. You can have any car, the universe is saying you can have any car that you want, 
white, here it is. What do you want? <laughs> you know, and the one that I wanted was a Bronco, of course. So that was the one I was in pursuit of. But the universe was showing me white's car, right? When it comes back around, repeat until you start seeing something evolving from it. Then based on what's appearing, act accordingly to what's being manifested. So stay present, observing, turning into intuition, listening intently to inner guidance, not outside of you, within yourself, right? Source, your intuition, your guidance. Um, I was guided to get up early and then that morning, it was a weekend, um, to go down to this dealer, which was across the street from the dealer where I got the Bronco. If I hadn't followed that, then I wouldn't have got it. If I hadn't followed how to um, address the situation at the job, then I wouldn't have been put back into the position that I wanted, right? So follow your inner guidance. You're going to receive. So when you're listening intently, listen to inner guidance, not outside of you, not other people, right? Cut them out <laughs> um, until it's manifesting. You will know what to do and how to respond in the situation at hand. Um, and so it was not verbally for the job situation that I got and how to respond. It was given the information directly through verbalization. However, it came intuitively. I was told exactly how to say and present it. And it repeated until I, I did that. Right. So... You're going to receive the information that you need, whether it's verbally intuitive, on a intuitive level um, or guidance. You know, go here, go there, sit over here, do this, do that. It's going to happen. And you just have to be aware and present and pay attention and follow it, right? Um, and then you'll receive guidance on action, not your opinion. If we start putting our opinion in there and doubt and things like that, then it's not going to happen. If you don't, if I didn't get up and go down, then I wouldn't have had the car at that time, just in time for the other car to die. Because the minute I drove my car on that lot, <laughs> it died. It literally died. I had made it that exact moment in time. You know, it was just perfect timing, divine timing. On what you think you should do and go with the inner guidance, right? Now, um, I have, as mentioned, given you two examples. Um, go check out those videos, give you a little bit more details on the experience. Um, but if you have any questions, drop them down below. And it's getting really cold out. So my nose is red. So I'm going to leave you here with that. If you have any questions, want to book a session on manifesting and how to dive more deeply into that and understanding it. There's a lot of things you can do to develop your intuitive abilities. That would be like meditation, going to intuitive classes, psychic development connecting with your guides, yoga, tuning into the present moment, present practice. So um, check into those um, so that way you're um, getting the information and downloads information when you need it when you're manifesting. All right. So happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.